do better than that, man. Y'all gotta, y'all, y'all gotta do better than that, man. Y'all, y'all gotta do better than that. This motherfucking, this motherfucking, man. I will be so fucking, man. No, no, I, I will be. Uh, uh-uh, uh, man. This, this motherfucking space right here is so fucking confined to, you know, so fucking confined and so fucking small and shit. And you got more. I, I, I have a problem. It's similar, basically, to a two man cell, though. If you've been locked up. I, I have a problem with just a fly coming up in this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. I, I have right. a problem with that, but motherfucking roaches, bro? Uh, that's, yeah, that's, I didn't know the difference. I thought it was bed bugs at first, so I got scared immediately and said, man, I bought the wrong product. <sighs> All right, so so you so you 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 gave that truck back and you you told them about that and then what they do send send you out to go and get it to, to, to go and get another truck no that was the other truck that i was in i just had to deal with it because i was stuck in um jersey at the time and i was trying to make my way back and then i had a load from scranton and i was supposed to take that to dallas which is by okc and i was just gonna shoot that way but by right, the time but that this, happened but no this this the sec this this how many trucks you had with 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 uh no, that was just two right so that was so the first truck was infested too right, right. then that that's what i was saying so what where where did you get the second truck did they did they send you somewhere to get the second truck or it no, was already on brought, a, yeah no somebody brought that second truck in it was recovered oh okay 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 Okay, man, that yeah, that's that's not bad business. All right, so you, you know, you went to Home Depot, you know, you yeah, bombed it out a little bit or whatever, whatever. Exactly. Uh, how how long have you been with Western Flyer Express? I was only with them for about a week. About a god damn it, man. So so the truck broke. Well, the truck broke down in Dayton. You took exactly. it over to the truck. You took it over to the shop. What what happened? Uh, what happened with you at the shop to make you decide to go over to J and R Swoogle? Okay, it happened like this. I'm trying to pretty much troubleshoot with them, and I'm trying to get, like work through the problem. So, all right. all right, you know it was raining. The guy, or I told him what was going on. The check engine light comes on. Boom! Okay. It breaks down. Okay. You got to keep pressing that override thirty seven, but especially from the freight liners. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I don't like doing it. That's this dangerous. And he's cutting off on you in traffic. So I'm like, let me work. Away. I know Ohio well. So I said, all right, cool. It's a pilot right over there by Vendelia. So I'm going to go ahead and shoot over there and then have them come um, look at it. And so they took me to the Freightliner and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Room the second day, they were supposed to be. I'm like, instead of just giving me a room on Saturday, you know I'm going to need a room for Sunday because ain't nothing happening on Sunday. That's common sense. You know? Right. So he's like. Just call when checkout time. Two hours past checkout. I'm like, look, man, the guy's sitting here saying he needs confirmation or else I'm going to have to go. You know, and I'm like, so what's going on? So he finally went ahead and paid for the room, but Monday came, and you know, you need to go get the diagnostics. That's what I told him. I need a, a ride up there. My money's funny, and I don't want to kill all my money on an Uber. Mm-hmm. And so I'm trying to see how long is this going to take, where the part's coming from, so we can go ahead and get this pretty much nipped in the bud, all that. So we get, I get up there. I'm checking everything, the temperature of the guys, seeing if they just gonna stall out because I read the reviews saying they just like to linger so they can make more money. I get it. So I'm like, all right, it's coming down most from PA, the border PA, what by Youngstown, that type of thing. So I said, all right. He said a couple of days. And review said they're gonna take a week, and it did literally take a week. But in the midst of all that, I'm waiting Monday for about. Got there at ten. It's almost five. I'm like, I need a room. Okay. All right, somebody, right, somebody will call you back, and he keeps saying call you back. I don't called him four or five different times, and each time you don't call me back, and this breakdown is supposed to be handling it, and nothing happened. Just left me stuck. So I eventually, I just got tired of going back and forth, and keeps, you know, I keep calling and getting passed around. They passing the buck because they don't want to deal with it. Then they'll put you on some line where you've been, you'll be on hold for thirty to forty minutes. And eventually it goes to voicemail or it just shuts off on you and you get tired of that. So you're like, I get the picture. All right, I'm going somewhere else. 
That's oh. how I got to J and R. Okay. It was last minute. Okay. So you so they they didn't want to give you the hotel room? That's, nah, didn't uh, call me back or nothing. It's like just left, you know, hey, it was a just, just left you, just you left you hanging, pretty much. Oh yeah. Left me assed out all the way. I'm like, I ain't doing this. I, I got too much stuff going on in my life. I'm like, look, I'm just trying to make it simple and you don't even want to work with me. Talking about we might get you a rental car so you can come back and get another ride if it's gonna take too long. So I said, All right, cool, I see how this is going. It's one of them companies. Wow. Where when the top people are not available, the minions, the bottom people can do whatever what they feel like. Okay, 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 man. That's yeah. I mean, the, if the if, main if, people are okay at that company, I, they I, they're straight shooters. Just when they leave, that's when the BS begins. If 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 that's the, and and you finding all of this out in in the beginning, man. So that's that's a good thing. Uh, at least at least you didn't invest too much time in them you know to, to, to even get messed up uh even more all right so you in dayton ohio uh mm -hmm. uh I, how, how did you come across jay and r swoogle honestly i had them as a backup anyway i had like two or three other companies like oh when you come in orientation because i don't trust these companies anything right. can happen and i need a, a out right so i'm like all right, let me keep this in the back. So if something happened, I could have, I could fall back on somebody. Exactly. Sure enough that, sure enough that happened where they in Columbus, and I'm like, you know what? I'm, I told them if something don't shake, I'm going next door because luckily it just broke down an hour away. Mm -hmm. That's what it is, an hour from Dayton to Columbus. I said, nah, I'm, I'm leaving. I'm going yeah, next door. Right, right there on Columbus, right there off of what's your name drive. Yeah. All right. So uh, you. You make it down to Columbus. Uh, who 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 did you who did you linked up with as far as uh, orientation goes? I forgot the guy's name. It's some older guy. Uh, is he a short dude? I forgot his nah, name. Nah, this guy was about five ten, maybe five eleven. What white or black? Nah, he's a like an old school white guy. Oh, he was. Oh, okay. This okay. Uh, I forgot. I, I forgot what's his name. His name. I think he's like in charge of uh safety down there now. I'm I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It's been it's it's been a it's been a good minute since I since I've been with Jay and R. Struggle. I had a few people, uh, especially on my TikTok, you know, now that I'm getting a little bit popular on TikTok, um, I'm posting up some of my old J and R. Struggle shit. Um I had one guy that reached out to me and asked me, like, yo, uh, you still at J and R Swoogle or whatever, whatever. I, you know, I go. I says, uh, nah, I haven't been there in, in a little bit. And I was like, well, what? You know, then I hit him back. I was like, well, what you, what would you like to know about him? And you know, he was just saying he was just being curious and shit. And I'm like, oh, okay. See, that's why that that part right there is why I don't tell people where I'm at currently. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, I mean, like after I leave the company, then yeah, I'll I'll tell you everything you need to know about the company. I'll still promote it. I'll still I'll still talk about uh -huh. it. You know, and all like that. But you know, but while I'm with the company, nah, man, because I I don't need that. I don't need that bullshit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. I, I don't need that bullshit. I don't need I don't need somebody to call. And 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 uh, you know, call and come with you know, come with that crazy shit. I ain't got time for that. Um, so J and R Swoogle, uh, you 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 hopped up in there. Uh, mm -hmm. got got the go ahead. Uh, are are you are you still with them or what? What was what was your experience with them? I mean, I've been through other companies, and to me, they like they're not bad to me. I mean, it's just growing pains. You have to get used to every company, and I'm like fair minded about it. So, mm -hmm. in the back of my mind, I'm like, you know, I'm not gonna really rush, jump to conclusion on them. I got with them. I had a little problem with it. I had to learn their trucks or something. I forgot what it is. Some mm -hmm. small, they fix, boom, and you get on your way. I said, all right, I can understand that, and it was like I just want to know everything up front with them. So. 
the only thing that like was uh how can I put it uh indicator for me like I gotta get used to is them toes. I get that, but being from where, like, you're <laughs> from, that's all you know is the toes, and that's going to be like, ah, that's all you know in it, like, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio. So, well, you know, you uh, wait, wait, you know, now the toes in in in, in Illinois, uh, you know, the, the, the toes in Illinois, you know, Jay and R. Schwugel got that, you know, the, the Illinois, but the Indiana, Ohio toll road, nah, they ain't got that. They ain't got that, my G. They they want you to go all the way around the fucking world. <laughs> I mean, it, I can understand if they're trying to save money. I ain't mad at that. It's funny because, I mean, you, you might do that yourself because you be like, nah, I ain't trying to come up off all that. Right. So I, I'm laughing. I get it. But same time, I'm like, hey, every once in a while, let me slide at least once. I'm like, <laughs> no, nah, they don't even want to. Nah. <laughs> nah, like, they don't even want you. <laughs> nah, G, they, they don't want you to. They, they don't want you to do that, G. Because, like I said, when I got in that motherfucker, I was like, I was like, hold up, wait a minute. I was like, hold up, hold up, hold up. They was like, they was like, uh, I, I called them motherfuckers all the time. Like, yo, can I, um. Can I take the Indiana toll road, please? Please? Can I take the Indiana, please? Pretty please? Like, what the fuck, please? And they go, uh, they go, nah, you, you, you can't, you can't take the, uh, you can't take the toll road. I was like, well, then how am I going to make, how am I going to get to that shit on fucking time? How, how am I going to do that? Help! I said, help me understand that y'all use the toll roads for the for the uh, for the miles and shit. Y'all use the toll roads for the miles, but yet we don't get paid for the miles because we we for the additional miles when you tell us to go around the toll roads. Now the Indiana, the Indiana Ohio toll road, simple. You know, all you just have to do is hop on thirty, and just bam, bam, boom. It's still, it's still a little bit too long, in my opinion. You still not gonna get paid for it. You know, let them tell, let let them tell it. They'll be like, well, no, you get paid. You no, we no, no, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Yeah, that's because, all I got to do, and I'll be all right with if they said that it is what it is. As long as you up front, you just don't tell me. You know, all you gonna. Just let me know, but hey, it is what it is. You ain't getting paid. You gotta take that long route. I right. mean, as it's long what, as you know, you, you know now. You know it's you. You know it's it's worse up in the northeast. Like uh, some parts of seventy eight, you can't take. I'm talking uh, about the turnpike. And stuff. Yeah, the seventy eight turnpike, and then ninety. I know. It's either ninety five or ninety something up in uh you know like like further up in northeast because I ninety four yeah ninety four thank you yeah nine ninety four so because I um I took that shit now this is how they did I I don't know do they still do do they still get that P three shit that that P three bullshit uh you get like five cent extra for uh, for having all your, you know, having all your shit together or whatever, do they still got that? That's pretty much. They said they they got it, but they said they was trying to do away with it. I don't know. It was like I just go off of by actions. If they do good, if they don't, it is what it is. It's something you got to deal with. I mean, I'm not an owner up, so you just, when you company driver, that's that's what you got. You got to deal with it. So I'm like. Yeah, like right. I said, that that P three that 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 P three bullshit is 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 uh is company driver. So uh -huh. <clears throat> that P three bullshit is company driver. Uh, I was just wondering if they still got that because see, I wasn't I wasn't a fan of that shit. Um, every time I would take the turnpike, right? You know, I would take the turnpike, and at the end of the at the end of the fucking week, they'll give me either a choice like, yo. Uh, lockout. You know, you you did uh you did the turnpike, 
turn probably gonna cost you about twenty something dollars. I'll be like, man, I ain't paying that shit. Well, okay, well then we then then you forfeit your your P three. I was like, okay. See what people fail to understand is is back in the day because they don't they don't do that crazy shit now they don't that goofy shit they used to do back in the day over here talking about okay well uh you you can they they be like you can make forty five cent a mile and you be like okay I'm all in for the fucking forty five cent a mile but then you 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 tell me when I get there is that my my uh my cent per mile is 40 cent a mile and then the 5 cent extra comes with some with with some goofy shit they don't they they don't do that shit you know at least i don't know about them because like i said i haven't been there but i know some companies that used to do that shit don't do that shit no more so so are it's you strategic st- though i mean i i give them to them it's slick that's another way to get over on somebody i i give them that it's strategic are you? St- but, I mean, it is. BS. Yeah. Are you? St- are you still with J and R Swoogle? Nah, right now I'm not. I just pretty much had to like get everything situated. You know, I told them I'll give them a call like if I was gonna come back or not because that's just where it was at. Because like I had something else personal come up, like especially with my kid, and I got my tanker and hazmat. So I was like, I'm really getting ready to go back to just doing um bulk. That's really what I was getting ready to do. I was really just getting ready to shoot back to doing that. The physical aspect, I just had to get my mindset on it. Oh, okay, okay, that's what's up. All right, so so in other words, you still got uh, J and R Swoogle in your back pocket, pretty much. Yeah, I really didn't have a problem with him. I had way worse, had way worse. So I was like, I could do, I could deal with him because it's on. You're gonna deal with something wherever you go. Somebody got something you got to deal with. So I trust me. I have a lot of truck companies that's way worse than him. All right. So, uh, so how how long have you? So, how long you was only with J and R Swoogle before you left? About like I want to say almost about five months. Five months. Mm-hmm. Damn it, man. Okay. Okay. Hold on, right quick. Three preface with the. Minimum. Hold on, what that fucking shit? But they did look out for me though. Um, when that crunch time came, and um, you know, put me on and explained everything. I will give them that. I ain't gonna discredit that. Okay, okay, okay. So for five months, uh, for five months, you 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 rocked out with them. Uh, they came back. Um, you was you know, family stuff happened, and you was able to uh you know, bounce out and then are you, are you able to, are you able to come back to him or, or, or yeah, what? it's no problem. I mean, I could do that with him. Um, you know, like just, I was up front, they up front. And like I said, I had it way worse than way worse, but, uh, he did tow road. Well, I'm like, you man, if they can do away with that, it'd <laughs> be a lot better. <laughs> nah, they, nah, they, they ain't going to, you know, I can tell you right now, they ain't, they ain't going to, I got in the middle they, where I just went to buy my own prepass. Yeah, so they, I could go through the toll road. Yeah, they ain't going to do, they ain't going to do away with the, they ain't going to do away with the toll roads. But I, I agree with you. If you got your own little prepass, you know what Trust I'm saying? Me, because, yeah, you know, my son, mind. you know, my son got, uh, my, my son got one. And that, and you know what? And now that I think about it, bro, that's 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 not a bad idea. Uh, get you, you know, get get your own prepass. You know what I'm saying? So uh-huh. in case you, in case you do go to some of these bougie ass companies that be talking that bullshit, you know, they be talking that, you know, talking that bullshit of the tolls that you can't run and the tolls that you can't run. Yeah, boy, don't worry like, about it. I got yeah, it yeah, yeah, yeah. You be like, no, I I, I got it. I, don't worry about it. I got yeah. it. Yeah. You know, y'all don't uh, do. Do we have to reimburse you? Like, nah, nah. We you, you don't have to. Reimburse nah, that's good, big dog. I got we it. Good. Don't even worry about it. We good. All right, man. So, yeah. um, five months with Jay and our So, so where where you where you at right now, my G? I mean, um, what, what, what's 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 uh, what's what's your situation right now? It's just pretty much trying to figure out like um that custody hearing with my kid, getting mm-hmm. everything wrapped up so I can stomp down hit the courtroom, explain my situation. I want the DNA test. I want everything because I'm like, oh, I'm tired of being hung up for something right. that don't belong to me. Right. 
Right. How long you been? How long be before Western Flyer Express and 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 J and R Shugo, How how long you been driving all together? Like how long have you had? I've been driving two years. Oh, two years. Oh, okay. Okay. Right. Now, I mean, you know, I mean, you you but that you old just... school driver I told you about taught me how to drive, and uh, he would let me drive. Okay. Where like with him, sometimes he just teach me the ropes and stuff like that, so I knew how to drive. From, you know, old school, from Chicago, you know, when he was driving, and even though you ain't supposed to let somebody drive, I ain't going to get in his business where he was at at right. the time and stuff, but right. he broke me in and told me how to finesse the wheel and everything. All right. So with, with you uh, with you taking care of your, uh, you know, your, your obligations with your family and shit, are you, uh, are you able to... Again, I I think you told me. I got a short attention span. Ain't that a bitch? Uh, are you able to go back to J and R Swoogle? Yeah, I'm I'm able to do that. It's just like I read to get this situated, right. so I don't have nothing else to keep taking out of my check. Okay. Or if I it is to the point if I get custody, then I mean I want to flip it to where now she has to pay me. Oh, okay, that's what's up. Now, being that you was now, you know, with 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 the jobs that you had be prior to trucking, uh, now that you you know that you getting like thousand dollar checks and shit, or at least trying to get it, what was what right. was the take? What was the take away from uh? I mean, what child support when you was in trucking? I mean, how how hard they was hitting uh, you then, man? They at least take a hundred every week. Oh, okay, okay. So it was a little, it was a little less on in trucking than it was when you was just working, working. For oh yeah, because Bell Tire. What? Let's see. Where else was I? At? Uh, I was at. I don't know if you Allison's Transmissions. If you heard of that. Nah. So man, I was. This is all in Chicago, right? Or Illinois. pretty much, yeah. That yeah. ending. Chicago and Indianapolis where I was going back and forth but uh, that's what pretty much happened when I was at Bell Tire it was just I looked up one check you know and I was like making I think it was only twelve fifty what they was paying so alright cool I'm like work 40 hours or more than that then as soon as I start seeing the checks coming about 250 every week I said nah I'm out <laughs> I said I can't not nah. I said that's community service I can't do that <laughs> Oh uh, man, that's why I was saying, you know, that's why I was saying, you know, I, 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 I'm, you know, it, it never, you know, never happened to me, but I, I know a few, you know, a few cats that had, you know, had that situation happen to them. Some of which, you know, them, some of which, you know, didn't even go back into the workforce. They was like, "Fuck it, I'm not about to." I'm not about to break my back and 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 motherfucking child support is. They do. They don't even stay. care if you got a place to stay or not. Yeah, ch- he was like t- he was like saying child support is 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 hitting me like this. Shit, this dude went back to live with his moms. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And getting paid up under the t- getting paid up under the table, man. I mean, you know, I I I was kind of I, I I it was two ways because it was my it was my uh. It was my wife's uh, cousin. It was her niece, you know, that he was doing that to. You know, I mean, I, you know, I, I saw it from, you know, both ways how, you know, he was still in. The good thing was is that he was still in, in her life. But when it came to the when it came to the money aspect of it, that's, you know, that's what's the problem with with him and, uh, you know, him and this, you know, baby's moms. But. But he was like, man, no, nah, bump all that. I had one. I'm um, speaking of that when I was um at one. What well, I was the same one. I think I don't. I don't know how long you stayed with him or not. But um, so I was like working. I forgot. I'm trying to think about where I was at. I forgot. I think it was in Shelbyville, Indiana. So mm-hmm. I'm like taking everything local, but some reason on a tipped off the kid's mom she knew where i worked at and then like i noticed like somebody was like yeah she showed up trying to um speak to your employer i was like oh man i'm gonna have to quit 
I was like, yeah, it was U.S. Express. I was there. I was like, hey, this ain't going to work out. I was like, I got to go because they wasn't taken out of my child support. And my child support wasn't taken out of that check. Right. Some companies let them, some don't. And U.S. Express wasn't even caring. I'm like, nah, I got to go. I hear you, man. I hear you. All right, Taylor, man. Well, hey, thanks, bro. I, I appreciate you taking the time. Uh, I appreciate you taking the time out to come on and uh and and share your story with us, man. I really do appreciate that. Uh, after you get everything uh taken care of, you like I said before, again, are are you going back to J and R Swoogle, or are you gonna or are you gonna give another company a try? Honestly, I'm gonna make a conscious decision. Like, I, it's more money in doing bulk. I'm not gonna lie. So I need more money to catch up. It's all about staying afloat, and that's just where I'm at. Okay. You know, so I'm really leaning towards that because I'm trying to catch up as fast as I can. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up, man. And that's 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 good to hear, man. Well, hey, look, look at here, man. You you a citizen now, man. I I do appreciate it. You know, if any time you want to come on and chop it up or anything like that, man, you you know, feel free to reach out to me and uh, you know, we can get you know, we can get it in. And we we can get it in on or off, you know what I'm saying? Uh right. I hope everything, you know, I hope everything work out with you on your uh, you know, on your child support thing. I mean, you know, I kinda hate <laughs> like I said, I hate to see that, you know, you got hemmed up, you know, on the baby that's not yours, you know, but hopefully you're you know, you're able to prove that and you're able to, you know, go back to the judge or whatever and be like, yo, you know, run, run me it my money like that run, right there. That's run me my money thing. back. <laughs> I don't know. It must be a common thing, though, like, especially within the Midwest with that because it was another chick I dealt with. Like, she was like, that's my kid. But then again, I'm going to tell you a story about that real short. Go ahead. She put another brother on child support and that ain't his kid. And he's been on and that's like, said to be my kid so he's on child support for my kid man you know what i you know what i'm I'm beginning to see i'm beginning to see that as a fucking as a fucking trend bro and not listen i'm you look look at here man take you know take take it from me man motherfucking trojans is your friend bro <laughs> yeah Trojan, when you're young no you don't Tro think that yeah, way you know you just yeah, yeah. Tro trojans is your friend my g <laughs> You know, but I, I, like I seen I work. seen that. You know, I'd seen that. Uh, I I I seen that, and it, it's it's hard to it's hard to understand that 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 type of shit goes on. How the fuck I'm going to? How the fuck if the baby's not mine? How the fuck I'm being responsible for a kid that's not even mine? And you mean to tell me I gotta go through extra hoops? To mm -hmm. to to get that to get that lifted up off of me. Exactly. You know, I, five thousand for a lawyer. Crazy, right? All right, my G. Well, like I said, man, I hope everything work out for you, man. And uh, you know, let me know. You know, let me know what uh trucking company you fall in with, and uh, see if we can. You know, see if we can bring them to the light too. See if that, you know, see if that's the company that, uh, you know, somebody will will fuck with. Your feelings on J and R Shrugel, you know, cl let's close it out, man. Yo, what, what's your feelings really on J and R Shrugel? Like from a one to a ten scale point, what I would give them um, so far, like what I mean, to be honest, I put them on like a five and a half or six. Mm -hmm. It's like in the middle of a road company. To me, it ain't bad, ain't too good. It's just, I mean, it is. Everybody has room for improvement, especially with companies. Mm -hmm. And other, well, and they, I'm gonna say this: the governor is not slow compared to the rest. That was another thing with me. Cause some I only want you to go 63 or 65, and that's like, what am I gonna do with that? Mm -hmm. So right. other than that, and the trailers were decent, though. I will give them that. But yeah, that was just a middle of the road company. It wasn't, it wasn't bad, wasn't good. So I mean, it's something is like you can work with some starter companies. You ain't getting nothing. All you right. know, you getting minimal. All right, and what's your what, what's your final thought on on Western Flyer Express? They got to get it together. Period. I mean, I'm, what, what I got to say about them? That <laughs> personnel department is a wreck. I mean, it's a train wreck. I mean, they ain't got no order, no balance, no structure. 
it's every man for theyself. Uh, I mean, I don't know. And the trucks really ain't kept up um, far. Other than that, if it was ran like they front front office, then the main folks would be cool. It's just, hey, it's every man. You, you, what, roll of the dice. If you get a good truck, just keep it. Other than that, you'd be like me. You know, you just be sitting there stranded. But other than that, that's how I haven't really got nothing to say about them. It's just their personnel department is, is direct. All right, man. All right, man. Well, on that note, man, we about to get on up out of here, man. So you take it easy, and I'll holler back at you in a minute. Okay, you take care. All right, peace out, bro.